get the students back in school as quickly and as safely as possible, and to help the district in Paradise and other districts around the state rebuild. Thousands of students and teachers in Butte County are out of the classroom, of course, after their schools were either destroyed or damaged by the campfire. Today, state and local educators gathered to come up with a plan on how students and staff will move forward. CBS 13's Shirin Roger joins us live from Rockland, where many evacuees have taken refuge. Shirin? Chris and Antonio, it's incredible. From this comfort in here in Rockland to Sacramento, hotels are packed with evacuees, families who lost their homes, kids who don't have a school, and they're trying to get these kids back into the classroom, but where do they go? Today, the superintendent, the state superintendent, and Butte County says they're working around the clock to make this happen. Just like a week ago, it was perfectly fine. Yeah. Now it's just... All ash. Brothers Nick and Ethan Smith, eighth and ninth graders from Paradise, are passing time in this Rockland hotel room, wondering if they'll ever see their classmates again. What school am I going to go to now? Or like, what am I going to do? Like, how are, how is this year going to work out? A cloud of uncertainty for thousands of teachers and students who are without a home, including this family. And I'm a teacher as well. And just knowing if I have employment to go back to. In Butte County, many schools were damaged or destroyed as the campfire ripped through town. In many cases, there is no school to go back to. Representatives from the California Department of Education, Butte County Unified, and the Office of Emergency Services met Wednesday to come up with a plan. Even other counties will be taking students. Uh, I talked to the superintendent of Tehama County. They're already taking 30 to 40 students from the Paradise area. Chico Unified District will be able to handle some of the students who have no classroom to go to. The county is working with FEMA to inspect school sites to clean up the contamination and smoke issues to eventually get kids back into some of these classrooms. Meanwhile, parents can register students in other districts in the county. In fact, the Butte County Superintendent says, according to federal law, displaced or homeless kids qualify to go to any school district they now choose. He's 17 and a half years old. He needs to finish his high school. A long road ahead as communities work to rebuild. It's so overwhelming, so I don't know how it's going to work now. It is overwhelming, and another issue is that a lot of these kids have PTSD, so the state is applying for grants to get these kids some counseling. Some good news, the Butte County Office of Education will be making an announcement on Friday as to when schools will open. They want parents to keep up to date with them on their Facebook page.